Future trading involves risk and is not suitable for all investors. Content provided in this segment is meant for educational purposes and is not a solicitation to buy or sell commodities. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk. I am Cody. With me from Chicagoland, finally back, Mr. Andy Fallman. Andy, how you doing today? I'm good, man. How are you? It's good to have you back. Good to be back. Even though Jim did a pretty good job filling your shoes last week, uh, it's always good to have the OG back in the seat. You know what, though? I heard about these clown shoes. It's fine. It's no big deal. That was I, uh, That was Jim. From what I understand, I, I think that was Jim. You know, I'm just going to have to go talk to him. Good Maybe we'll have to go shoe shopping. Who knows? There you go. Kind of getting towards the end of October here. And we had one person call in for a request. We're going to get that to that one a little bit later. But our good friend Norma from Texas. Norma. I Norma. some good charts. You got your Halloween costume picked up? Otherwise, it is the end of October. It is. We got, we got that episode coming up next week, right? I think so. We'll see. There we go. Well, everyone's got to see what we got. All right. Well, this one isn't looking so rosy. This is spot non fed on a weekly. I, good. I, I mean, to me, I drew this line right here. Uh, this is about 132, this blue line right here. This is more or less where it started to kind of go after having this like kind of roundabout deal. I, I, to me, after this, assuming that we close here this week, so we still have two days, right? This is Thursday morning. Mm-hmm. So you still have to have a spot today and then tomorrow. But if we can close here or lower, you've cleared all of this stuff here, right? So you're through this, what was this low? So what was this low? 146. We're at 144. So you got a pretty big break, right? From 186-ish, 185 half, got down to 150, tried to get a little bit of upside going and then just couldn't. So I guess, I don't know, when I look at that, it's a, it just looks like it's a straight shot to 132. I don't know about you. Looks like that's kind of where the chart is telling us it wants to go. Would you consider what's happened in the past couple of weeks? This is on a weekly chart since July. Would that be like a long-term rollover effect? I think right so. I, you know, weekly, I think you can consider a long-term Right. I mean, this this chart goes back at least two years. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's, I guess, kind of, I, I don't know, cut and dry is the right word, but I mean, you had failed attempt to get through this high right here, right? Fell apart. And that this is after a 30 cent break. This is all that the bear, the bulls could kind of come, come up with. And then in three short weeks, including this week, you managed to basically give all that back. So it's, it's just, it's a sign of weakness. You know, we had GDT earlier this week. It wasn't all that hot. And, I guess to me, it just looks like this 132 half, you know, right where this right where this market broke out from, right in here, mm-hmm. looks like a nice little magnet. And you've got some moving averages. These are longer term periods, right? This is the 200, but you've got some moving averages that you've managed to still cross over too. And so I don't know if it if it crosses this, the 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 long long term one 200 period one that could get a little dicey. But I think the first step is this 32 half number. Okay. Other side of the coin for class four, a little butter. It's like like the little engine that could or something. Like this thing just keeps on rocking. It just keeps rolling right on down the track, man. We've seen a lot of healthy trading during spot butter on the CME lately. I mean, Mm -hmm. past couple weeks even, but even in the last couple trading sessions, it's been some very healthy trading, it seems like. Yeah. Uh, What are we sitting at right now? 320, I believe, as of yesterday's session? Three. You got it, man. Yeah. I mean, not to say that there's not downside. There's always that potential for downside. But right now, like you said, just kind of keeps trucking its way along, inching higher. Yeah. I mean, I drew this. So I just drew this trend. You know, I, I feel like it's on everybody's mind. When's butter going to roll over? When's butter going to roll over? Futures are telling us, you know, that the futures continue to be a pretty healthy discount. I think, what was it, Jan? We were looking at earlier, Jan's at 253. Correct. I mean, that's 70 cents discount. That's That's a big number. I think what ends up ultimately happening is what I would be, I guess, the, the, where the alarm bells would start to really go off is if you get a, a period of consolidation kind of like this, right? Where you've, you've broken through this uptrend and then maintain that breakout, even if it's not even substantially lower necessarily, just, you know, let's just say we just kind of put around here, right? But clearly break out from this and fail to continue to go up. That would be, I'd, I'd say, a really, I'd say, a pretty big concern. And then if you start to, you know, clear some of these, you know, this is what three bucks, more or less. Yep. But I, my opinion, I feel like butter when it when it corrects. You know, we've seen it. Let's go back to look at like on a monthly basis. When it corrects, it's wicked. Yeah, it's, right? it's, it's hard, hard to correct at these price levels. Yep. And that's more or less my expectation. And. Actually, it's interesting too. Now that we just pulled, this is a monthly of it. So we were just looking at a weekly. This is a monthly. You're starting to see some of these, you know, like some of these big wicks here. Not to say we didn't see them back here too, right? But these big wicks are kind of the market starting to run out of gas a little bit. But I mean, that's kind of what we thought around that 250 to 270 mark. I mean, look at those yeah. nasty wicks. And then it all of a sudden propelled itself yeah. higher yeah. also. So I guess what we, like what, what ended up happening is you saw kind of a, a, a pennant type formation right here too, right? 
Mm -hmm. And then obviously the breakout here, it's a little different because you're not getting the pennant here, Correct. right? You'd want to see this, you'd want to see this wick exceed this one. So it's, it's like I said, it's a little bit different, but I think, you know, the, 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 I think the nail in the coffin is you're going to end up seeing a candle somewhat like this right there where you've engulfed like this, these two candles or something like that. I think once you see something like that, it's, it's, I think the next step is to have a, a pretty significant retracement. I'm thinking we go back I and mean, let's just take a quick peek here. Hang on. Let's do this. Where do you want to measure this from? You want to measure it from the high or from yeah. so that's, that we put in 325. Okay. Where do you want to be the bot the bottom end of it? Oh, let's see. Do you start at the 175 mark where it kind of really started to propel itself higher, or do you move up to? I was thinking where it broke out from. So one was that 191, 190? Yeah, let's okay. call it right here. Yep. Okay. So read this a little bit better. There we go. So yeah, I mean, if a 50 percent retracement is about 260. Jan's at 253. Right. I guess my opinion. I think we see the CME, both futures and spot butter market, overextend itself lower. You know, maybe NAS doesn't catch. Let's say we break and I don't know, take spot down to like two, 220 or something like that. But then the futures start to build on a premium. NAS doesn't catch up like that or get down to that price point. But spot does. I mean, we can, we've seen that stuff before. But I, I guess first order of business, do we start to see a consolidation and a maintain a breakout of this upward trend? Right. Starting to. I think we need to get a few more, call it like, you know, instances under our belt. So another couple of weeks. I don't know. You may be able to stock up for butter for Christmas a little cheaper. You, don't need you got a big freezer at home. It's, it's pretty stocked full of butter right now, actually. Right. Good deal. Just case. March feeder cattle. This was Norma's request, right? Yeah, this is one that Norma wanted to see. Okay. Now look at this is this is today, right? So this is as of this is an hour and a half into today's trading. This candle right here. So not looking so hot after trying to break out. Right. I mean, you've got a pretty clear rejection. And if we were to close here, you would technically. So what is this open? This is an open of 181. We're trading at one just under 181. So 180 and some change um, or 180.9, basically. So either way, I mean, you'd be closing below yesterday's open. Correct. That's the, I, I would imagine that would take this and roll it right back into all this noise right here. But yeah. aside from that, I mean, it, to me, it looks like it, it goes back into here and then, we'll, you know, we'll see, right? Like, does it try to test this area? I'm not sure. Right. It's kind of thinking, do you, do you think it goes and tests the 20 day moving average and seeing if it can break through that right. point if, if it does go down and test that? If it so does. You have your yeah. blue line right there, correct? Your blue correct. line is 20 day? Correct. Yeah. yeah. And I think what will be, what will be most interesting is do you fail to like test the lows here? And maybe this is like the first stab at trying to rally. Right. Where, you know, it's not the first trip to a price that, you know, that can cause concern. It's the second. So break down, come back. You know, but uh, again, it's getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. I think the first step is we got to get back into this, this little area right here, which it looks like it wants to do. Yes, it does. But yeah, no, this is uh, let's take a look. Well, hang on a sec. Let's take a quick peek at here. Yeah, that's not really telling us that much either. I mean, it's pretty much giving all this back. So I guess longer, longer term. You know, that's like the big area of support, this 170 area. Mm -hmm. If you were to break that, then, you know, now you're talking about getting back down into all this noise, call it around average price of 162, 163. So we'll see. Time will tell. Time will tell. Let's go to the other side of the beef train here. This is these fats. What do you think? Are we going to rip that, it? That chart looks pretty healthy at this point. That's a daily. You have on, yep, daily. This is a daily. Golly. I mean, we're up at that, that number where you saw in the middle of September, we tested, failed, and then came screaming right back down to 146. At. Right. Well, I mean, it's going to do or die time for this here, right? Because it seems like it. This 152 print. I mean, this has been just the number that the market just doesn't like. Correct. Couldn't even get it here. It got there for a day. Came back down. You know, look at how aggressively it sold off back here. So it's, I guess, if you were looking to be a buyer, I. I you know, you could take a shot at buying it now. I'd be really leery of this 52, 152 area, right? And yeah. be ready to get out of it should we not be able to break through it. But if you broke out, you know, it's almost like, you know, you want to buy it worse from here, but with a lot more confidence that you get, a, you know, close above that 152. And then, you know, the next day you get it open that is higher from that price. Right. That's where you can see that I think this market really start to accelerate. And, and we haven't seen that yet. I mean, to your point, 152 has been the big, the, the big point of resistance up there. Yeah, for sure. One, one, two, three times. It's interesting about the old fats here. This is the one I want right there. So you have these 
attempts, multiple attempts at the market trying to break down in, in, a, in a large way, right? And mm-hmm. it's, you continue to kind of stair step yourself higher after bumping up against, you know, here, I don't know if you can really call it this one, but the, the few times you've tried to get through this 152 area, the second, you know, you, you're putting in a higher low, I guess is my point. So if it's going to go, it certainly has like the stability in the market to do it, right? People are taking a break from this price as, as they're not waiting for a test here. They're taking this break as an opportunity to own it. And they're not right. waiting. Take, taking ownership on the downward fall there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that's an, that's an interesting one. Like I said, I think you can own it here. I think you want to be really leery of this 152 area. If you got a breakout of this price and then an open higher the next day, that's when I think you could really start to pile in and own it with a little bit more confidence. Mm-hmm. The interesting thing looking at that is the volatility that we saw, uh, you know, where you see those big one, two, three, four, about five downward days on the red candles that you have to the left there about the end yeah. of Sept. And now we're kind of doing the inverse of that on the higher yeah. upward trend. Uh, just a lot of volatility in this market too. For sure. Kind of like all markets that we've seen lately, but this one, just looking at it now specifically. Well, the, the weekly certainly is telling you to own it. Yes, it is. Weekly looks good. Weekly this is, look like good. I said, this is, a, this is also a continuation too from previous charts. So we're looking at specifically these. You do want to make, like I said, if you want to pile into the longs, I'd be looking to get a breakout here, owning it worse with more confidence, but we'll see. Cool. I think we need to put this one just because it is so close to that 152. Put it in the bank. We'll, we'll take a look at this one. Put it, put it on the holiday uh, video for next week. Maybe we'll bring Bozo the Clown back. There you go. Bring your take, a look at these, look, take a little quick look at uh, these fats. Again, Clowns I was from Jim, not I, allegedly. <laughs> I apologize for him. Well, that's going to do it for another episode of Tech Talk. Norma, we appreciate you calling in as always. Thank you, Norma. I always look at, like looking at these fats and the feeders. Until next time, everybody, stay safe. We'll see you for a Halloween episode next week. Thanks for watching. Bye.